Hi there. In the last video, I showed you how you can use Context7 to bring up-to-date information into your IDE. Uh, but recently, I came across this term here, the lms.txt file, and I wondered how it works and how we can also use this when we develop code with our AI. And the idea is that the same as you do with the sitemap, on a website to give the crawler a, a structured way to process the information. The lambs.txt achieves the same, but just for an AI. And let me show you this um, with an example here of the fast MCP project, because here we can see it in a very nice way. Here, the lambs.txt, and we see it's basically an overview of all the concepts and a further link down if we need more information. And this gives the large language model a good overview of the, all the concepts. And if the large language model would need more information, it will grab then this URL, so making a fetch tool call and getting the information there. And now let me show you how we can use different LMs for the different websites. So I'm all only showing this to you for fast MCP, but everywhere, if there is a LM.txt, you can do exactly the same as I show you now. What we will do now is here using the MCP doc, MCP server that was created by the guys uh, from Langchain. And it's actually pretty simple. The only thing that we need to do is fire up this command here. And you also see here, we need to specify the URLs. So we see here the framework or library and then followed by the lms.txt. And now I will show you how to set this up in Klein and VS Code. And, but you can apply it the same way in cursor windsoft whatsoever. So we go here and opening up Sorry, we go and open up here client. Then we click here on the server symbol and then we click on install and then we click here on configure MCP servers. And you see, I've already have it there. So um, I will also provide it in the YouTube description. But what you need to do is this part here where you then specify the ul or the lms.txt that you want to consume so if i show you now the example again from the mcp talk you can see it here we can also change to get multiple urls um yeah this is basically all you need to do so just post paste it then in here configure this with the lms.txt that you need and then we will restart here our servers. And then you should see it as well next to context seven. So, and now let me show you the power of this because I'm preparing a course on MCP and I needed some help here for how to consume or correctly set up resources and prompts. And put me craft. Dealing with dynamic resources in MCP, let's use the so I'm here in the planning mode uh, with Klein. I've set up DeepSeek, and now we see here Klein wants to use the tool docs MCP. This is fine. So in here, it makes now a list doc sources. So what lms.txt we have defined, I have defined only one, but uh, as I showed you, you can define multiple lms.txt. And now that they have the sources, they the client want to make the fetch docs. This is fine. We see here, yep, this is correct. Now we get the whole overview, the whole um, lms.txt and now let's see if client is so smart to make a further call down to the resources part from the documentation list yeah and then here 
Brian finds it and now wants to make a further call down to the resources. Great. <laughs> and now we have all the specific knowledge on the resources. And here we see the correct implementation, no hallucination. Wow, perfect. So I also wanted to share this um, option with you because Context 7 is also a great tool, but we don't know how long this will be for free. And with this approach, you can integrate multiple LMs.txt. It's completely free. And thank you for watching. And of course, subscribe if you want to get notified when my big MCP course hits. Thank you.